Hi Westport Mustangs, it's Principal Cervantes here. I'm at home working remotely today with my daughter, Olivia, and we're going to be making some Play-Doh with you. Um, I have a feeling that you're maybe getting a little antsy and looking for something fun to do. So my daughter actually went to a science day at Stanislaus State just a couple of weeks ago, and um, I thought that it would be fun to share out with you what you can use from your house. Um, and I'm going to include the ingredients below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can be updated anytime one of the staff members sends um, a, a video out. We've got Mrs. Jardine doing phonics and some exercise with sight words. Mrs. Bird's been reading aloud and I'm trying to stay um, up to date with all the school announcements here on YouTube as well as Parent Square. So please stay connected. You can also get in touch with us through Twitter and through Instagram. Please know that the teacher waving parade has been canceled for tomorrow due to some concerns. So we are gonna go ahead um, district-wide. There are gonna be no more teacher parades during the period of school closure. So we're sorry, um, but we we're having to follow the rules and make sure that everybody is safe at this time. And the second thing, um, Dr. Siegel, our superintendent, sent out a notification today that the school closure has been extended at this time through May 1st. I will be sending an update of when to turn in your homework packets and how you will get your next homework packet. And that information will come out next week. Your children should still be working on the homework packet that their teachers gave them last week. And that is not going to be due until I believe it's right before spring break, maybe April 9th. I don't remember off the top of my head, so please forgive me. Without further ado, though, I'm going to have Olivia help me to make some Play-Doh. And I have a glass bowl. I have my flour here. I have some just table salt. I do have some measuring cups and measuring spoons. And then um, I, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Olivia. We have some, some vegetable oil that we'll be using, some warm water and a mixing spoon. So what do we start off with, Olivia? Okay, so we're going to start off with two cups of flour. So I'm gonna be using my one cup measuring cup. You could have some fun parents, and if you only have a quarter cup, maybe think about how many one-fourths do I have to add to get one whole. So this can be a fraction lesson as well. I'm gonna go ahead and measure out two cups of flour. I'm gonna level it off here with a straight edge. So here is cup number one, getting all the good stuff out. And then cup number two, here we go. Okay, what's next? Next, we have to add one half of a cup of salt, a half a cup of salt. A half cup of salt. Yes. That's a lot of salt. It is a lot. Okay, so I have my one half measuring cup and I am going to add to that, holy cow, a half cup of salt. That's a whole lot of salt. This is Play-Doh. I did this one year with my son when he was in fourth grade and he had to do a Native American diorama. And so he made some Play-Doh, Native Americans, and teepees, and it was a lot of fun. What's next? Next, we have to add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. So one tablespoon is the biggest um, measuring spoon that I have, and I'm going to add to that or use my vegetable oil. Do you know if canola oil or olive oil will work? I believe so. Okay. Well, we could just wing it. Well, we've got what we need. There we go. You want to go, um, here, I'll put this in here. Good. Make No, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Next, three-fourths of a cup of warm water. Three-fourths of a cup of warm water. Go ahead All and right. add it in. Okay, and then mix. Yep. And food coloring is optional. Do you want to make this colored? Yes, I do. What color do you want to make it? What color do you want? Um, let's go with green. It's spring. We don't have any green. Either. Okay, never mind. Blue. No, we, no, we do. Oh, we do. We don't okay. have any green already. Okay, go ahead. Okay. How many drops? Um, six. As much as six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now I'm just... I know you can't see that. Here we go. And... Mixing the Play-Doh. How long do you have to mix this? Oh, it takes a while to get the color mixed. Ah, okay. So we're just going to mix this up. You can mix with your hands. You can mix with your hands? You can. Uh, I'd rather not. Because <laughs> then I'm going to get food coloring all over my... 
It might be speaking of which. While we're doing this, I want to give a big shout out to Tiffany Michelina because she gave me some proof that she reached out to an author. Um, oh man, and I am not remembering who she reached out to, but I know um, I got a copy of the email that she sent to her author, and I know that she's anxiously awaiting a reply from the author. Um, if you remember in my announcement that I gave the other week, I sent um, uh, an email to Nick Bruel, the author of Bad Kitty, and he replied the next day. I was so excited. I had never um, reached out to an author before and certainly never got a reply. I was shocked. I was very excited. It made my day. Tiffany, just so you know, you have been awarded some hero points. So when school comes back, you can use those hero points for whatever your uh, little heart desires from the hero store. And if you get a reply, remember to let me know because you'll get additional hero points. I believe that teachers are giving all of the children hero points if they are tuning in to a Zoom or a Seesaw or a Flipgrid. And we are trying to stay connected, trying to make sure that we're giving you all the support that you need. If you have homework questions, make sure that you are um, reaching out to your teachers through Parent Square um, and ask those important questions because parents, I know that maybe you are not quite sure how to do Common Core math and that's okay. We are here to help. We are still working. You might need to add more. I think so. It's not very green. That's, that's a pretty poor shade of green. Okay. Um, so Olivia just added a little bit more green. But I'm definitely, oh shoot, now my skin's going to be green. <laughs> You're in um, spirit, Mom. I guess if I worked at a school that had green colors. You have a green anyway, thumb now. I have a green thumb finally. <laughs> I usually don't make plants live, but here we go. I can make green Play-Doh. All right, you guys. So I think this is it. Do we have to cook this? We don't. This is it. This is it. This is it. So we've got some Play-Doh. Um, I know in my house. We have some rules when playing with Play-Doh. We have to make sure that we have something like a placemat underneath. Yes. Or you are um, using the appropriate materials underneath. Don't do this on the carpet. Don't do this on the walls, things like that. You need to be playing with these appropriately. If I wanted to right now, I could easily make a little worm, maybe make a little Play-Doh donut, um, whatever it may be. There's an O. Or Olivia. Mm. I want to say thank you to all of you. Let me know if you made Play-Doh and maybe say, take some pictures and uh, send it my way. I hope you're all well and I will see you soon in the lunch line. Bye Mustangs. Bye.